and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take a manual blood pressure. Now, I did the medical assisting tag, which I actually made up myself. I did that a few weeks ago. I will leave it down below for you guys if you guys are interested in seeing it. And in that video, I mentioned that if you guys wanted, I could do a video showing you how to take a manual blood pressure. And I actually got a lot of feedback on it and you guys really wanted to see it. So here it is. I'm going to do my best to explain it as easily as I can. Taking a blood pressure manually definitely takes practice. It is not something you're going to learn overnight. It took me months to learn how to do it, but now I can definitely say I can do it no problem. I highly recommend practicing whenever you can. If there are any other medical assisting how-to related videos you guys would like to see, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I can do a video on how to do injections if you guys would like and how to do certain things, so definitely let me know. And without further ado, let's get into the video. To take a manual blood pressure, you will need a stethoscope, an alcohol wipe, and the correct size blood pressure cuff, which I will talk more about in a second. Before I take a blood pressure, I wipe down the bell of my stethoscope with an alcohol wipe because it is a quick way to disinfect it between patients. After, I ask the patient to place their feet flat on the ground and not crossed because if they aren't flat on the ground, you can get an inaccurate reading. Then I usually ask them if they have an arm preference and have them rest their arm on either a table or on their knee with their palm up. To take the actual blood pressure, you will need to determine what size cuff you will need. The standard size is a size 11, which is used for most adults. However, if the patient is overweight, you may have to go up to a size 12. Begin placing the cuff on the patient's arm. You do not want it to be too tight, but you also do not want it to be so loose that it falls down the patient's arm. If you have a dual head stethoscope, gently tap on the bell to ensure it is on the right side. And with the cuff, you always want to make sure the artery arrow is pointing downwards. Then place the bell of your stethoscope in the antecubital space of the arm and hold it there. The antecubital space is just the inside of the arm. And the cuff should be about halfway up. A way to tell if it is too low is if you have to place the bell of your stethoscope under the cuff to take a blood pressure. Then go ahead and make sure the air release valve on the blood pressure cuff is closed and begin pumping up the cuff. I usually pump it up to about 180 or 200. And then you want to slowly twist the release valve using your thumb and index finger while paying attention to the needle. As the needle begins to fall, watch and see where it is when you hear the first beat. And you're going to want to make a note in your head of the number. And when you hear the first beat, oftentimes you'll see the needle begin to bounce. Then continue listening and watching and be sure to make a note of the number at which you heard the last beat. To report the reading, take the number of the first beat and put it over the number of the last beat. So that is how you take a manual blood pressure. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments down below. I hope you guys learned something from this video and found it interesting. If you guys did like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. While you guys are down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button to become part of our little family. Also, be sure to hit the bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. I really hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!